So in our previous video we discussed about how we can search through multiple columns and also searching the relationships of the model and in this video we are going to be implementing the filter functionalities so whenever i click on class one then only the class containing the value of class one should be displayed here and if i select on class two then only the classes where the value is class two should be selected so this way we'll be implementing the search functionality using laravel livewire so in order to do that let's go to our visual studio code and go to our students.blade.php component and what i've done is i have query i am querying all the classes from our database so for each classes as item what i'm doing here is i'm just displaying all these values so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wire model this select tag here with a property called selected class which i haven't defined yet so selected class and this will be this value will be assigned as the id of the certain class so we have a value of item id so whenever i select class 1 then this selected class value is going to be set to 1 if and if i set it to 2 then this class property is going to be set to 2 so in that in that way the wire model property works so let's me let me just save that and go to our students.php live wire component and define a property called selected class so public function selected class and let's keep it null okay not function public selected class is going to be null by default so we have defined this property and if i go to our students.blade.php and let me just display that selected class property here save that and go to our browser and reload and if i select class one then we should see the value of one because the class one is has the id of one and if i select class two then it should be two and if i select class three that should be class three so our wire model property is working fine let me just remove that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use the query builder of laravel laravel so if i go and search for when so we have a query uh, we have a feature called conditional clauses in livewire okay not livewire laravel so whenever a certain value is true so if a certain value called role is true then we want to call then we want to execute this function so this we are going to use this property to search through the classes so whenever our selected class property is set then we want to search through then we want to perform the query where the query queries class id is equal to our selected class id and in that way we'll be achieving our, achieving our functionality so let's go to our students.php file and okay not students.php but our student.php model and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to run the function here okay not here now students.php model what i'm going to do here is i'm going to append that when query here so when our this selected class is property is set then i want to run a query and we also need to pass the query builder here okay we need to remove that so we want to search through the query where the class id is our selected class id let's save that and okay we need to keep that here 
and everything should work fine now so what, are, what we are basically doing is we are uh, executing conditional clauses here so if this value is true so if this value is set then we are going to execute this query so if we have a value of uh, suppose we have a value of id of one then we are querying the querying our database where the class id is one so it's going to return all the values where the class id so it's going to return all the students where the class id is one and if it is set to two then it is going to return all the students where the class id is two so let's save that and go to our browser and reload so now we don't have anything set so it is uh, it is actually displaying everything and if i go and click on class one then it should be nothing should be displayed because we don't have a, uh, have any uh, student which belong to class one so we see that uh, so it is working as expected and if i click on class two then we should only see the students where the which belong to class two if i click on class three it should work as expected and class four should also work as expected so what if you want to go further uh, what if you want to go a step further and also implement that uh, filter functionality along uh, with the sections as well so if i click on class one then i should see also see the sections of this class one and then we perform filtering from the sections as well so how do we do that okay let's take this feature uh, further a step further and let's also implement the functionality of filtering the students by sections so by uh, so up till now we are filtering the students by classes so we want to implement a feature where if i select class one then i want to see the sections that belong to class one and then whenever i select section a then i want to then i only want to see the student that belongs to class one and section a so let's define that feature so let's implement that functionality so in order to do that let's go to the code editor and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to define a function again not function a property that will be selected okay let's define a property called sections and let's keep make it null by default and whenever this property changes so i want to fetch all the sections which belong to a certain class so if the selected class value is one then i want to fetch all the sections which belong to class one okay so in order to do that we need to use a property called life life cycle hook in live wire so whenever a certain property changes then we want to call that function and that function is called the updated life cycle hook so we need to append a updated function and along with the property name in this case we want to check for uh, we want to monitor the selected class property so whenever uh, this class changes this value changes then we want to call that function and then fetch all the sections that belong to this selected class so the way we define that property it will be in this way so if we have a property called selected class so if we have a property called selected class then we will append that property name here and whatever the property will be whatever the property change value changes to that we will be receiving as a parameter in this function so if the class id changes to 2 then we'll be we'll be receiving that value in our function as a property so now what we want to do is we want to set the sections value to section where the class id is equal to this class id and then we want to get the values of this class id okay and we are setting that to this sections 
so now we have access to all these sections all these uh, sections as a property and then we and now we can loop through each of these in our blade file so now uh, so i have a uh, i have defined a tag for selecting the sections so what I'm going to do here is if the property of sections, if the property of the selected class is set, that is this class. So whenever this class has certain value like one, two or three, then I want to display this part. That is this drop down. I want to display this drop down. So we need to wrap that in an if condition. So if the selected class is not equal to zero or okay it's not or it should be and i think okay let's keep it as and and we'll check whether it works or not and if the selected class is not null then we want to show the drop down okay and let's give an option of select a section and we want to loop through each of the sections here so for each sections as item i want to display the option and the option value will be the id and we want to display the name of the section so in this case items name and I hope everything is fine here so let's go to our browser and reload and now if i select class one then i should see section a and b so we have a drop down here so select a section section a or b and if i click on class two then i should see section a and b as well so if we go and check our database we have section a and b for class one and section a and b for class two and we don't have any section for class 3 so if i select class 3 then that should be empty so it is working fine and okay we have implemented that dependent drop down now what we want to do is whenever a user selects section a then i want to filter that then i want to filter those students that belong to section a so we can implement that using the same functionality that we have implemented here so let's go to our students.blade.php component and let's wire model it so i want to wire model selected section so we haven't defined this property i'll just copy that and go to our students live wire component and define a property called selected section and let's keep it keep it null by default and now what we can do is when this selected section is set so the way we implemented our implemented in our selected class we can copy that and when this selected section value is set then we want to run a function then we want to run the query the query where the section id is so remember we need to key we need to have the section id and the class id in the students model so we are running the query in our student model so we have the class id and the section id in our student model so we need to have this relation and the query where the section id is equal to this selected section so save that and we have wire modeled it and we have also defined the property let's go and check our students.blade.php so we have modeled it with selected section so everything should work fine now let's go and reload our browser and if i click on class one we don't have any students 
if I select class 2 then I should see all the students that belong to class 2 and also only the student the students belong to only section B so we don't have any student that belong to section A so if I select section A then the res uh, results should be empty here and yes it is working as expected and if I click on section B then we should see the values but we don't get anything here class 2 section B okay let's see what's going on here wire model selected section students.php when this selected section is set function query query where the section id is this selected section class 3 section a okay there's a problem in my database i think all right so there was some problem with my database seeding so i haven't i haven't changed any code here so i what i did was i just called the i just reseeded my database and our all the code is exactly same i haven't changed anything here and i just reseeded my database and if i go and reload my browser and select a class that is class one then all the only the students belonging to class one are displayed here and the pagination is also working fine so if i remove this and so we have more than 10 records for class one so if i go to next then the class only the class one students are displayed here so the pagination is working and now if i select section a then we should also only see the students that belongs to class one and section a as you can see here and if i select section b then we should only see the students that belongs to class one and section b and all the other functionalities like searching through the these filter results so if i search for k-o-r-e-y then only the only the results belonging after only the results after the this filtered are returned back so we have suppose 10 records here so suppose we have filtered our data using class 1 and section b and now if i and we have 10 results here so now if i run the query then it is going to search only in these 10 queries as you can see in our database here so when we whenever we are calling this when condition and then only we are searching the term here so we we can we can define you can define how you, you want to search the model so i am searching at the end so we will be filtering this data and then searching this so that's how it's working here so uh, if i type something here then it is only going to search uh, through these results and not from the whole database so i hope you understand the concept so this was the this was the last part of the of our small series uh, where we were building the some awesome data tables using laravel livewire and i hope you like the content so in in this mini series we discuss many features like the pagination uh, deleting multiple records using livewire and also performing the bulk delete using laravel uh, using livewire and also searching through the relationship as well as searching through multiple columns of a model and we also discussed about filtering features here so i hope you like what we did here and i'll be uh, posting some more uh, content related to livewire in the future so stay tuned for that and if you like the content do subscribe to the channel and have a great time and i'll see you in the next one